Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and welcome back to the channel. Today again, we're talking about cryptocurrencies and the coin in question today is Wink. Now this has been a crazy cryptocurrency coin. It is going crazy over the last few days. I made a video about it on Saturday. So two days ago on April 3rd, this thing was at 0.001 and we now see that it is at 0.002. So two tenth of a, of a cent and we basically have a 100% gain from two days ago. So this is absolutely insane i wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys my thoughts and predictions on this coin a lot of people have been asking me oh should i buy this now is it too late did i miss the run and i want kind of want to go over what i think this or what i think is in store for this coin so the first thing is a lot of people have been asking me how you even purchase this uh it is not you can't purchase on crypto.com because it's just not uh, an asset you can buy on there so you do have to buy it on buy Binance. So if you go on to Binance, uh, there's a link in the description below as well. If you haven't, if you don't have an account, you can use the referral um, in the description below. But basically, once you've created yourself an account on Binance, uh, obviously you want to pick the currency you're trading in, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to get into uh, this tab here. And what you want to do is you want to go to the exchange. So if I go ahead and I can't even click it. So if you click the exchange, this is going to bring you to this page here. And what you want to do now is you want to type in win and basically in order to buy win you can obviously have different other cryptocurrencies to buy it but normally or what I did in this case is I had USD account or USD money in my account and I used that USDT to buy win uh, token so basically if you go to the U to the win slash USDT you do see that this way you're going to be either buying win with USDT or selling win to get USDT in your account so in that case uh, that's exactly what you do you would click this but if you have Bitcoin and you want to get into win then you could trade it with that as well so it really depends on the pairings you have here but this is how you would do it and basically in order to place an order you would literally just buy a certain amount of win or sell a certain amount of USD obviously in this case you're gonna be buying a certain amount of win with your USD currency and this basically shows you the the people that are willing to sell and how much they're willing to sell and these uh, green boxes below here are the people buying and how they want to buy it for so basically the bid and the ask um, so I'm not again gonna get into too much detail about this but that's basically how you go about buying win on Binance so going back to crypto.com I just want to talk to you guys when I made the video on April 3rd if we go back to this video this market cap was literally at 345 million uh that's two days ago and like i said the price has doubled so 100 percent in about two days or so and a lot of people are hyped about it but now the question is are, is it still gonna go so what i want to quickly note here is that yeah we did see a doubling in the market cap the 24 hour volume is actually quite good we see 2.57 billion and on april the third so two days ago when i made the initial video we do see that it is a bit lower so about 178 uh, 1.78 billion as opposed to that 2.57 billion over the last 24 hours so we do see that there is still a lot of momentum on wink and people are not just okay well you know what the run is done and we're, we're leaving it there's still a lot of volume and a lot of action on wink so what I want to talk to you guys about in this video is kind of go over the chart and give you guys a quick rundown of what I've been seeing. So we want to go back all the way on April 3rd when I made that video. We saw there was an initial pop all the way to 0.0015 and then I kind of mentioned that oh well it, it did drop the back down. It, we got some consolidation. It did break below that seven day moving average which is that gold line here and then this was basically when I made the video and I said well listen so it's either going to consolidate and hopefully it can maintain maintain that seven day moving average for support or it's going to come back down uh, hit that 50 day or 25 day moving average and shoot back up but what it did it had actually hold that it held that seven day support and basically uh, shot all the way to 0.022 and that was essentially that 100% move that I was talking about maybe in a few days from now but it, it literally happened hours after I made the video so that was kind of cool uh, that I predicted that but again it could have went the other way absolutely so 
now that we see it went all the way there uh, and then we did see it break below that seven day moving average again and it found support at the 25 day moving average which is very good in my opinion because now we see that the 25 day moving average is going to be acting as support and it's a lot better than that seven day moving average because the seven day moving average is literally just based on seven days of uh, trading days and that 25 day moving average is based on 25 days. So obviously there is going to be a lot more support on that 25 day moving average, which is that purple pinkish line right here and then opposed to that seven day moving average. So we do see that, yes, it did hit that high about 100% from when I made that video and then it consolidated back down and was trending back down below that seven day moving average. And then it hit that 25 day moving average and bounced right back up and even above that seven day moving average. I know I'm saying seven day moving average like 20 million times in this video. So, you know, just bear with me here. But basically what I want to mention here is that that 25 day moving average is going to be our line of support. So this is very good in my opinion for this cryptocurrency. If we have the 25 day moving average acting as support, this is going to be huge. So what we do see over the last few hours here is that we are kind of going back into a downtrend and we're probably going to be testing that 25 day moving average shortly. So this could be a very good buying opportunity. Again, guys, this is not a recommendation by any means, but if you're not in wink right now and you're looking for uh, a spot to get in, this could be a very good opportunity. Now, what I would do if I was in your shoes, obviously don't do this because who knows, I'm just a guy on YouTube, right? saying whatever I want to say but basically what I would want to do is I would want to see this uh, candle here where it goes so what I mean by that is if it continues going downwards and it does go around that 25 day moving average I would literally just look at my screen and wait for this to kind of find support around there kind of like what we saw here and then wait for a confirmation on the move upwards or downwards because if we do break that 25 day moving average we have a long way to go um, to go all the way back down to maybe that 90 day moving average which would be around 0.001 so we do have a lot of room to fall if we do fall now obviously if it doesn't fall and it founds and it finds support right at that 25 day moving average, then we can bounce and we've seen it before. So we've seen it here. Um, it bounced from 0.0016 all the way to 0.0024. So that was a very big move right there. And then if it does the same thing, we could probably go ahead and test new highs. So if we do find good support, kind of like what it did here, it bounced up. It didn't go all the way up to that previous high. But if we can do this, this is essentially finding newer lows and higher lows at the same time. So this was an initial low and then it bounced up and then it consolidated back down, found support here, which is a higher low than the previous one. And then this could be the exact same scenario that we could see here and it would probably in my opinion go and test at 0.0025 mark and it would be an all-time high if we get some good volume and everything comes together so guys that is just my personal opinion again it is not a recommendation by any means do your own due diligence before you invest in anything so guys that's going to wrap up today's video if you are investing in wink let me know in the comment section below let me know how many tokens you have how many coins you have and what is your average price because this thing has definitely a lot of potential in my opinion if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe we recently hit a thousand subscribers so thank you so much for the support you guys are absolutely amazing and let's just go to the moon you know it is what it is and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace